G'day guys, how are you going? Today we've got a Forbes 15 Plus. Um, we're just going to shift the gas bottles outside the actual locker, um, get them out of the way, and then uh, put them off to the side. I'll show you here now. Why would you want to take take it out of the uh, storage area here, like the gas storage area? Because this is a great area. Actually, you can fit your um, like your Weber baby Q fits in there and stuff, so it's out of the weather and stuff. Um, you know, you can put your toilet chemicals and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Um, but you have to change it to a 4.5 litre bottles. So these are the only really holders that I've um, that I've found that actually fit when you don't have to move the diesel diesel um, tank. So you can twist them and stuff. All the other ones, they seem to hit, they're hard to get out. So expensive, but you know, really good quality. They're from, uh, I'll show you them. They're called the Tracklander, okay? They're Jaron products. They're, uh, they're just over in Welshpool. That's where I picked mine up. That's in Perth, if you, if you don't know where that is. It's the TLR GBH4 for four kilograms. So they're the ones that I'm gonna, gonna use on this one. So. Remember guys, you gotta be a gas fitter if you wanna start mucking around with the gas side and moving stuff, okay? So, you know, if, if you wanna do this yourself, sure, get the gas fitter out there to test the gas before, before um, you start, because that's important. Once it's all fine and it's, and it's out of the way, get him to just cut the regulator out completely, and then you can do all the moving and, and all the, you know, the stuff, putting in the, the gas bottle holders and all that sort of gear. And then once you finish that, he can come back, put the new, you know, the regulator in the new location, weld it all up, test it again, and then you're good to go. Don't try to run it from here into the box because you know it's uh, not a good idea because I tell you, if something goes wrong and there's an explosion or something like that, uh, and you've done this yourself and it's not, not to code, mate, the insurance company are gonna drop you like a hot potato. You know? So you don't wanna have a van worth 55, 60 grand or whatever that you can't get any insurance on it. So I'll show you as we go along, you know, during the build anyway. Okay, thanks. G'day guys, all sorted, we're all up and running and uh, going well, all complied and everything. So I'll just give you the quick rundown. So there you are, they've got the, we've taken out the jerry can holders there. Okay, now the box, just a massive area now. Also remember to take the uh, reflective sticker off because you know, if you've got a, like a fiery that comes to a problem with your van on fire or something like that, they need to know that there's no gas bottles in here, right? Otherwise they're gonna, you know, assess, they're gonna assess the situation, right? So if there's an LPG, the reflective LPG sticker on there, they'll know LPGs inside, so take that off. Because um, yeah, you you don't want to you know sort of give the fireys some uh, you know a wrong impression of that. So yeah, it really opens it up nicely. There's a couple of holes, so we we we'll always patch those ones. So now it's a fully dry, you know, with some aluminium underneath, and then we just use some uh, you know some silicon, some of the body body spray, or you know the, the body sealant, which is great. So and even the shape of it too, you can really see how it just fits on the like the Weber Q fits in there beautifully. You know, you, you can raise it up a bit. All right, around the other side here, you got your two, uh, the uh, Tracklander 4kg bottle holders, right? So you can see the brackets just just miss each other, just miss it here. You know, so they're quite quite easy. There's no need to move the uh, you know diesel tank or anything like that. So the, the bottle's in, in a new location, okay? And we've snuck that through there. And underneath, you can see it all looks, yeah, nice, nice bends and everything. And over there, you can see, now it's got a T there, and you're probably thinking, what's that T for? Because at the same time, the, the guy that I've done this for wants to have a, um, a gas bayonet that we just stuck over here, I'll show you. We just stuck a gas bayonet. This is for his uh, barbecue in the future, when he gets one, okay? So we just hit it in there. It's behind the mud flap, so you know, no mud or anything's gonna go onto it. And it's you know, got a little dust cap in it. So you pop it out. And so now he can uh, you know, fight the barbecue out the front here. You know, while he's while he's cooking, you know, and also have the you know the back barbecue there. So all all good and safe. I'll show you another thing that you need to have. It's your little compliance plate. Make sure they got one of those, and that means in the future, if there's ever an issue with your van or something, you'll know that a gas plumber has done it. And also, that means that he'll take the risk if anything does go wrong. And yeah, you know, because he's signing off that it's to uh, to code. So if you need any work like this done. Um, please give us a call if you're in Perth and uh, if you want to check out some of the other um, cool things we've done to campers and stuff, um, check out my website on www.beautifulplumbing.com.au. There's a whole section there where we, I'm all about you know, removing the pain points So uh, when you're camping with the kids and stuff. So check it out. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.